long ago, in the time of our father's grandfather's portrayals, there was an isle devoid of lights and ruled by a king. Margol was he named, the Shadow King, the Dark One. From the Nether Reach, he summoned dragons three. Unbeholden to death, the dragons scorched the earth, and across the ash and liches, Margol's army marched. Like night, he seized the land, swiftly and unquestioned, beginning an age of misery for all the land's people. O oh gods, O oh heaven, O oh lords of light, they cried, grant us salvation. Songs of Vestaria, Prelude 1. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings, and what you just listened to was the introduction for Vestaria Saga 1, War of the Scions. This is a game made by Zhao Sokaga, the father of Fire Emblem. He uh, directed the first uh, five ones, and left the company after Tracia 776, and went on to direct two new games, uh, the first one being Tearing Saga, the other one being Berovic Saga, and here comes his third one, Vestaria Saga. And uh, this is not a Fire Emblem game, but it sure plays like one. I don't know that much about it, I've seen Mecha play a demo of it very briefly, um, but aside from that I'm going into this completely blind. I'm of course playing it because, you know, it's not technically a Fire Emblem game, but it sort of is at the same time. I'm sure it's going to be quite different, but it's going to play like one for the most part, I do think. So, what do I expect from this game? I expect a very good story, fantastic music as we can hear, and a pretty clunky convoluted gameplay. That, that seems to be Kaga's jam, although, I don't know, many years have passed since uh, uh, Tearing Saga and Burvik Saga. He may have evolved his style since then, so... I'm honestly kind of excited, and I'm looking forward to seeing where he's taken it, so let's just get into it, shall we? Okay, select a game difficulty. Orthodox or Clemency? Recommended for those seeking a challenge. Be prepared to re -roll, reload and reload on your first playthrough if you want to save everyone. Designed for intermediate players. Increased all XP awards by 20. And grants attack, defense, rest plus 2 when Athol is present. You can already... I can already see the Kaga in this. Like, it's... like, Why, why don't I just call it normal on hard mode? Like... <laughs> Why do you, why do you always gotta be so different from everyone else, Kaga? But yeah, like, um, we're obviously gonna go with, uh, Orthodox here. I don't even know how I play this game, like I said, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna play hard mode because we're no scrubs. So, Prologue, The Fallen Kingdom, uh... Oh, I gotta press enter again. So these are the graphics. I gotta be completely honest, not terribly impressed. It doesn't look good, but... I'll set aside my judgment for now and see how the game plays out. Regina, capital of the kingdom of Meldea. Here we have Sek. Said, there's, n there's not another minute for debate if you are to reach Venezia alive. Now, I don't know how you... Okay, so here you can see... I'm not familiar with the controls. Wait. Did I just skip a bunch of... Fuck. I just... God fucking damn it. I... <laughs> Okay, so do not press space. <laughs> space skips the entire scene. Enter is what you use to progress the dialogue. Okay, anyway, let's try this again. Say, there's not another minute for debate if you are to reach Venezia alive. I shall hold the capital. Now take the princess and go. You'll find a carrack in the Fall, Fall, Fall Harbor. You expect me to just sail away and leave you here to face the Imperial Army alone against those numbers? Never, brother. I shall not flee like a coward. Let me stay. We can drive out those wretches together. There is no need. I shall be right on your heels. You and Princess Al 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 Alpopis can wait for me in Venezia. Sec, please! Lord Sadrian, your courage has been noted, but the Duke is right. When that ship departs, so do all hopes of delivering the Princess to safety. You too, Master Garland? Ah. Alright, brother, as you command. But do not forget your promise. The Princess believes she will see you again in Venezia, that you will not seek out any needless fights. It wasn't that empty promise. I meant every word. I would never deceive her. Well, are we in agreement or aren't we? Go, go, and keep your wits about you. Brigands and thieves own the roads, but there's only a th but they're only a threat if you let them be. I am sending with you what knights I can. Give heed to Master Garland's counsel, and don't poke your head in quarrels that aren't yours. I am p placing the princess in your care for a reason. Say, you are smart, capable, you can do this. Young lord, it is time to go. 
Knights, gather round, we march for Frawl Harbor. No harm must befall Lord Sadrian or the Princess en route. Whatever lawless lick pennies attempt to bar our way must be dispatched swiftly and carefully. Leave it to me, Troy. I will, uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> this is not gonna make sense to any of you guys, but I'm gonna give him a specific voice. If you actually catch this reference, I love you. Leave it to me! I will ride ahead and weed the riches out! Oh, cool. Who's this guy? Bon Bonacel? Bonacle? Put me at the van and stay close behind it. I swear no harm will befall you. Wait, what? Again, Bonacel? But you always get the van. Fine, I'll take the rear guard. It's more exciting anyway. Thank you, friends. Zade may be young and inexperienced, but his raw talent eclipses my own. With you at his side, there is no challenge he cannot surmount. Serve him well. Yes, your gr oh. Yes, your grace! With my life! We are his to command, just as we are yours. He and the princess are safe with us. Well, brother, until we meet again. Upon this sword father gave me, I swear to see my duty through. May his strength live on in edel stern steel. Be safe, sec. So, uh, we got the classic escape arc. This is something Kaga absolutely loves to do. Uh, he likes to have the prince escape. I can see a lot of Tracia in this already. NPCs like Sec take action independently. Okay, they're green units. Okay. Take note, you can save this turn, but only before taking your first action. So, again, we can see right here, we have Prody. Oh, I gotta get used to these controls. We have Bonacel, he's a guardian. So he's an armor knight, pretty much. We got Athol, she's a princess, she heals. Again, you can see strength, dex, luck, defense, mob is mobility, magic, agility, speed, I think. Proof? 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 I don't know what prof stands for. Probably protection and rest. So again, if you are familiar with Fire Emblem, you can see that it's very similar. I mean, we got attack, accuracy, crit, avoid, critical avoid, defense, rest, RNG. I don't know what RNG stands for. I mean, I know that it's done as a random number generator, but I don't know what it entails in here. So yeah, you, you can actually see that this game uses the Fire Emblem formula down to a teeth. Like, it, it, it is literally the Fire Emblem formula. He does 12 damage, he has a 135% chance to hit, 20 crit, 15 avoid, critical avoid 2. Yeah, this is pretty fucking standard. We even got a Rapier here. That's effective against Knights. We got Troy right here. Give me a sec. I'm sorry, I'm not used to these controllers yet. We got Troy, he's a knight, he has a longsword. I don't know if that's effective against cavalry, doesn't seem like it. We, we even got skills here. I don't really know how you toggle through them though. Oh, th that's how you do it. So he has a heavy cavalry units and multi-chance. I don't know what multi-chance is, I have no idea. Feel free to help me out in the comments, guys. I know nothing about this game, so I am learning as I'm playing. I have absolutely n I do not know what to do. Oh, Zacharias is an arch leech, and he apparently has some pretty Okay, I understand why we can't control this guy, because he's decked out in gear, and you just take it. Wow, there's a lot of... Cl you know, Kaga, would it would it be terrible to just tell us what the skills do? Like, or do I have to click on something to read their description? Because, uh, here you can just see the name of the skills, but I don't really know what they do. I, can, I have an idea what they do. I, like, I understand Critical Edge probably gives them more crit, but it would have been nice if you could just tell me. So, uh, yeah, so I think that's all the guys. So you you select them with enter, apparently, and then it, the controls are kind of weird. They do not, it, this game does not play like an emulator at all. Alright, so let's, uh, let's try to move him, I guess. Yeah, you move with enter. And then, uh, I guess we have a pylum and a short spear. Because the short spear is actually melee, and the pylum is a ranged one. So let's just equip that this one. And, wait? No, okay, that's not how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. I don't know if I like Enter being the, the being the like that's not a very good good natural c controller. This should really play like an emulator, but again, I could probably just change it up myself. So we're facing off against the brigand. He has a rusted axe. Okay. <laughs> so these these guys don't exactly have good gear. Oh, we can talk. Oi, why the grimace, Prody? Why the grimace, Prody? Armor strapped on too tight. <laughs> Very droll. You don't have any revelations about the General's brother taking command. He's never seen battle before. I trust General Zacharias. If he says the boy's raw talent outstrips his inexperience, then that's enough for me. 
But you must agree we belong at the general side, defending the capital, not babysitting some novice who's never even <laughs> bloodied his sword. Enough, Brody. I understand your reservations, but orders are orders. Stop wagging your tongue as if you're so important. If you're so fine, if you're that fine a soldier, then you can do your job and keep Lord Sadrian and the princess safe. Ow. <laughs> Alright, sorry. So, right off the bat, really solid dialogue. Like, if there's one thing Kaga's exceptionally good at, it's building a narrative and building characters. Um, so, so far, I, I really like the dialogue of this game. Keep in mind it is translated, so it's not completely what Kaga would have said, but it's still pretty good, okay. One thing I'm noticing is that the FPS of this game is not great. But I'm gonna visit this, uh, see, see what kind of, we have only a long sword, okay. Let's visit the house and see what they give you, to give us something. So much for the Great Western Alliance. Meleda pled with the other member states to send troops, supplies, anything. But for the moment the Empire arrived at our shore, the accord was no better than a worthless piece of paper. The cowards all vanished back to their countries faster than a fart in the wind. <laughs> we may be one island, but we're clearly not one people. Always knew it, I suppose. Oh, we got a hundred denarii, so that's apparently the currency, and we get a hundred of it. Okay. The king's a blind old fool. Meleda may be a large kingdom by Vestarian standards, but to the Empire we're just a pile of dirt in the sea. They control the whole mainland. He should have seen that we had no chance. Couldn't even keep his dukes in check. If the people of... If the Duke of Frist hadn't set fire to that Imperial vessel, we wouldn't have this stupid war. No one thinks of the consequences. No one thinks of us. Now get out of my way. Time's running out if any of us hope to escape here alive. And he still gave me a hundred denarii. That's, that's awfully nice of him, I gotta say. Okay, actually, you know what? You can control with, with Seth. I'm dumb. So it actually does play like an emulator, it's just not very intuitive. So I can't control this guy, now he's a green unit. Wonderful. So we can see forests give 20 avoid, very similar to Fire Emblem. Uh, the houses give 5 avoid. It doesn't seem like terrain gives defense at all. Rubble. Witherwood gives 15 avoid, mountains give 30. Who's the boss of this chapter? Just pirates for now. Oh wait, this guy has a portrait. Okay, he has a portrait, but... Does any of the other guys have portraits? Oh yeah, they do actually. Or some of them have? That's kind of weird. Some some pirates have, have portraits, but not all of them do. That seems a little random to me, because like this guy does not have a portrait. Okay, so brigand and thieves do not have portraits, but pirates do. That's very confusing. Anyway, I'm gonna enter now and see how see how it goes. Har, did you hear, Koz? The Empire cut the Meladian army to shreds. The sun's rising on humble folks like you and me. Yeah, I always knew those knights and their fancy armor was more than glitter than guts. I think they're so much better than us. Next time I see them, I'll bury me axe in each and every one of those cavalier dogs. Well, I hear the royal family's on the run, looking to leave the country. So if it's blood you're after, I reckon the, the road to the harbor is the best place to hunt. Perfect. I'll rob them. Then I'll hack them to bits. Then I'll toss their carcasses into the sea, and then I'll laugh. Ha 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 ha! Just like that, except better. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go. So yeah, not a big fan of the animations. They do not look good. I'm gonna say this right now. Those animations are absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Easy pickings. Oh no, he's attacking the boat. Yeah, I don't know why the why the animations are so choppy. I really don't. Anyway, so I'm gonna do 11 damage here. I think it's just yeah, it's displayed just like fire. Emblem. Wait, hits four? Really? I attack four times. Is this a brave sword? I assume so. So yeah, just to f again like we don't play fire emblem for the animations, or at least I like to think I don't. I mean, I do play some of the older games, and I don't care, but there is a grace and, and, and flow to the old animations. This guy, is he like a Jagan? Uh, he's a knight. I don't think so. Can you see their growths anywhere? I don't... I would be very surprised if he could, honestly. Kaga doesn't seem like the guy who wants growths to be visible for some reason. I mean, to be fair, growths are visible in no Fire Emblem games. Anyway, let's attack with the longsword here. Okay, hits too. Yeah, it seems like the uh, personal sword of our lord has a brave weapon. 
yeah, holy shit, like, I'm, I'm gonna try not to complain about this too much, but I really don't understand how you cannot have better FPS in a game that's made in fucking 2019. Like, this is beyond awful in terms of, like, just how it looks. And I think that for a Fire Emblem, it's not a Fire Emblem game, obviously, but it, it, it is at the same time. It needs to have some flow to it. Hey, <laughs> I am one lucky duck. Look at what I managed to lift this time. Whoever came up with crime doesn't pay, obviously never tried it. Now I'm the proud owner of one jeweled knife. I ain't, I ain't no one gonna take it from me. Okay, so he has a jeweled knife. I get it. Oh, I can view all enemy ranges. I don't even know how I did that. Mm -mm. Oh, I missed. No. Also, mm, I feel like whenever a character misses, they should be like a miss above their head. I mean, you can see the numbers displayed, but not the miss. Makes it a little confusing. Now, I can clearly see that Kaga tried to recreate the style of FE5 here. I, the way the characters run towards you before a battle is very reminiscent of FE5. Damn, the pirates are upon us. Oi, oh, ready to Karnak. We sail now or perish. Because in FE5, you also had that charging moment. How did I enable enemy ranges? I wonder. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's that's nice, actually. I like that. Uh, let's try out... So, the red houses, I'm pretty sure those are houses I visited already. So, let's see. We got the Phalanx Lance, and we got the Single Spear. The Phalanx Lance is a lot... Oh, it gives three defense. That makes sense. It's like a Phalanx. Mm -mm. Hits like a truck. So, Bonacel seems to be like the Doga. And Prody is like the Gordon, except that they're both armor knights. That's kind of cute. So apparently we got a hurry. So we got an 80% chance to hit. Here's the question though. Is this game 2RN or 1RN? It's Kaga, so that makes me think it's probably 1RN. So 80 is probably 80. <coughs> yeah, so yeah, this is definitely a Bray weapon. And this guy has 1 HP left, so that was kind of dumb. So it seems like Sade is a pretty solid lord. I mean, like a Bray weapon personal. That's that's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. That 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 will certainly. Um, oh boy, you gotta be careful here. So you do not get defense from terrain. Oh, you got Kanto too. Okay, that's nice. I think. Yeah, that was definitely Kanto. So let's uh, equip this. Let's try to heal a little bit. Uh, oh, we can talk too. I wonder. Can you talk and then heal? Please, my lord. We cannot just leave him behind. Please, your highness. Sek said he would meet us in Venezia, but we must first reach it ourselves. Will you lend us your staff? Yes, of course. Nah, okay, so talking takes your action. So, uh, no, no modern talk here. If you want to talk, you better, you better pay the price. Haha, <laughs> here comes Macquarie. The unspeakable things I'm gonna do to you. Wow, okay, we get it, Kaga. Pirates are evil. Oh, that's a multi-chance. Multi-chance again, so... Is that Adepts? I think that's Adepts. What? What? They were supposed to drop like flies! Yeah, I think this guy has Adepts. And I think I just procced it twice. So, uh, should I just send my knight ahead? Grandpa, where are you going with that old sword? Sword? Pah! Her hair is a cutlass, CO. What? What? In my younger years, I used this baby to hack through all manner of brigand, and I'll do it again. What? But Grandpa, the only hacking I've ever seen you do is followed by wheezing. If you go out there, they'll kill you. You can't just leave me to fend for myself. Stay here where it's safe. Don't go. Please? Oh, all right. There, there. I'll stay here if you want me to, I promise. But if someone doesn't stand up and fight, it's only a matter of time before we're all lost. Yeah, so rescue the village, pretty much. That That's what they're trying to tell us. Again, this is... Didn't Kaga once get sued because he made a game too similar to Fire Emblem? Does he wanna does he wanna go through that again? <laughs> I mean, don't don't get me wrong, I like that it's similar to Fire Emblem. But um won't he get in trouble for this? Like this is again, he's he's just making another Fire Emblem clone. Also, um I should visit more houses, probably. Let's see what they have to say. Wait, no, uh, apparently I visited this one already. How about this one? If a house is open to you, you should visit it. We don't mind, usually. 
We have, we're here to provide information and sometimes even part with our coin and prize positions. Honestly, we don't mind. But if you don't reach us in time, brigands and thieves may wreck our homes. That part we mind, so if you're going to make a social call, be quick. Actually, you were rather quick. So here, have some coin. Wow, how nice people are in this region. There's no house up here. Please don't tell me there's houses up here. No, not yet. Okay, well, let's go reach this house then, so that house doesn't get burned down. Okay, so I actually take back what I said. This game does very much play like an emulator. It's just not as intuitive. Like, you gotta... The way you have to sort of... Wait, what? Uh, oh, this is... Oh, shit, this is a thief. I thought it was my, one of my guys. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Is he gonna kill my princess now? She has five agility. I don't know what the doubling formula in this game is. No idea. But this guy has 12, so my priest, my priestess is probably dead now. Let's see what he does. Oh, what? He didn't go for the priestess? Okay, so the AI is dumb in this game, apparently. Come on, she was, she was right there. I guess this is like an honorable thief. And this guy keeps missing the boat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There's one ship. Okay, so I think when all three ships leave, we're fucked, right? So we're on a timer here. Oh, hell, nothing stopped the pirates now. Frawl Harbor's done for. It's only a matter of time. I'll stay and wait as long as I can. But this lordship better hurry if he doesn't want to be a lord with no ship. Oh, 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 funny. You can save this turn, but only... Okay, so you can save. So Kaga included a fucking battle save in this game. Now I definitely don't feel bad about playing on hard mode. Don't worry though. Well, we need to get all this. We need to get all the stuff. So just hold the boats, please. I can't imagine Princess Altofus's pain. The queen's illness and death are still fresh in all our minds. And now this war, she's lost her father, two brothers. It must have been devastating. The only one she has left is Duke Zacharias, her betrothed. But duty prevents him from abandoning the place. Another tragedy is just waiting to happen. All I can do is cower here and offer my prayers. Oh boy, we got Denari. Okay, so this is a thief. We need to make sure he dies. But let's actually use the short sword this time, time around. There we go. You know, the more I play this game, the less I'm bothered. I can, I can feel the animations growing on me quite a bit. Anyway, let's go and uh, save this house. Dexterity <laughs> is a crucial stat. Every point it increases causes your accuracy to increase by three. A Kaga buffed skill. He understood skill as a trash stat. That's that's needed. If you have the critical edge skill, the dex is also added to your critical rate or percent or percentage probability the critical attack will happen. In, a, in actual use, your opponent's luck is subtracted from crit to determine the probability. There are also weapons that improve crit and items that improve critical evasion. Critical attacks deal double damage, so you want yours to happen as much as possible, and your opponent's to hopefully never happen. Okay, so crits. They're doubled like in FE4. I wonder if they're doubled after or before defense, because in FE4, how crits would work... Let's try some healing. In FE4, crits were doubled before defense. In most Fire Emblem games, crits are tripled after defense. So I wonder what this is. If, if, if crits are doubled after defense, they're, tr they're very bad in this game. I mean, it's still extra damage, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm probably gonna... Oh, there we go. There's the multi-chance again. That's the Adept Man. Yeah, it's definitely Adept. But it seems to me, actually, like... Hmm, okay, I want... I really want that dagger. So I'm gonna can... I'm gonna kill this guy, and then I'm gonna can go away. I do wonder if it's safe to attack the guy going for the boat first. Or if I just need to rush straight for the village. I think I'm... Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to end my turn. But it seems like without the, the actual crit skill, you won't actually add your your dex to crit, critical rates. I've already broken three walls today, so I ought to know better, but I have something random and exceedingly important to tell you. In this game, you can only save every five turns. A warning will pop up when the time comes, so don't miss your chance. And... Damn, there goes the fourth wall. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's actually... Oh my god, that's actually really fucking clever. That's actually really fucking clever. You'd think the Templars from Lana Sanctum would march south and save our sorry hides, but oh no. Vestra teaches them they must not interfere with the mundane struggles of mankind. Puh, right. 
What about the mundane struggles of one of their own? Princess Atolphus is their star maiden. They could at least save her. If she dies, it will be too late for any of us. Okay. Let's go get this house. I'm told of arcane devices called USB gamepads that can be inserted into your PC to increase your pleasure. Sounds a wee bit too scandalous for me. But hey, it's your PC and you can play with it any way you like. What? What is this game? <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay, okay, they have a good sense of humor. I like it. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall? Talking about inserting USB into your PC? What the fuck, Kago, man? I didn't know you were this dirty. Now, now, I'm not saying he's responsible for all the writing, though. Like, and keep in mind, this is translated, so we don't... The translators could have taken some liberties, for all we know. Items like herbs and medicine only work on the person carrying them, but I hear the magic and stasis is the opposite. It only heals others and never the wielder. You'll need to know who to use which, so don't forget the difference. Okay. I see. I, I understand how this works. Alright, let's use the Edelstein. So this will hit four times. Wow, it's so cool to have a... Oh, here we go. Hello there, Melodian scum. Time to pay in coin and blood. Oh, we got 20 crit too. Oh, that's a crit. Okay, so... Right there, we actually see how crits work. They're doubled after defense. Er, darn, just when my star was rising. Because we dealt T10 damage there. Oh, first level up. Hit points, strength, and dex. Okay. So, that actually confirms that crits are uh, crits are doubled after defense. So, they're actually really weak in this game compared to what we're used to. But, I don't necessarily mind that. Okay, I think we got a... The boat is almost uh, gone now, so let's go visit this village and get the jewel dagger. Brigand, rascal, so you finally come to invade our village while well, prepared to be hacked upon. Hmm, you're no brigand? No, you're a true Meladian. Hmm, this can only be destiny. Here, this cutlass was a bosom was a bosom friend when I was your age. It's a fine weapon. Light, so you'll be able to land two blows at a time. May it help you restore Melada to good glory. I love my kingdom. Always have. And I won't stand by and watch it destroyed. Okay. Good job, Troy. You did it. All right, I say we can uh, we can deal with this guy. What what do you want? I found this knife fair and square. It's my knife now. All right, take the damn knife, but don't kill me. Okay, cool. We got the jeweled knife. What does that do? Bypasses defense. What? That's really good. It's a fucking Luna dagger. Here's the cutlass. It's a brave weapon. Okay. All right, I, I see where we're going with this. I see where we're going with this. Okay, so uh, can we... This house is... Oh, wait. So I think the red houses don't give you anything. When someone you care about is within three spaces of you, your bond will let you draw on more power than usual. You can see your bonds by benefit by checking the stat bar to the right of the unit data window. Don't get confused, though. The names listed in the stat bars are the ones receiving the end of the bond's benefits. You don't necessarily benefit back. Also... Oh. Pouncing it off just arrived. Also, the type of potency of the benefit depends on the unit's relationship. Are they friends? Lovers? Does one protect the other? Some things are out of your control. Still, if you make sure your units continue to talk to each other, you can probably improve their relationships over time. Okay, let's end the turn. The boat is still standing, so that's okay. We got plenty of time. Again, one of the things I noticed, like, this game certainly tries to stress you a lot by, like, making you think that you don't have a lot of time, but I can clearly see that we have a lot of time to reach. Your attack is the sum of strength and your weapon's power. Subtract your enemy's defense from attack to determine damage. If you're using magic, then attack, plus the magic power and the damage, minus opponent's rest. If an attack reduces a unit to 8, 0 HP, the unit will die. Permanently. There's no reversing that stripe of the Reaper's Scythe. 
If you want to keep all your units alive, then you'll need to fight your battles carefully. Okay, so we got permadeath in this game. Well, that's not exactly surprising. Alright, let's heal. I don't know if healing grants experience. Uh, okay, no, it definitely does. Okay. Okay, so we're almost there. Just a couple more houses to visit, and, um... Yeah, the ship has 20 HP, so this should be fine. Can we even reach that boat? Okay, there, there goes the boat. Only one boat left. Young lord, once we have reached the harbor, we're, the Karak for Vanessia will set sail. We can, you, we can arrive at the signposts by the harbor in any order, but arriving means leaving the battle. Take care not to leave the princess unguarded. We must be quick. If the pirates destroy our Karak before we reach it, then all hope is lost. Okay, so we gotta arrive at the harbor. Well, we're right there, so we're going to arrive in two turns. You can save this turn. Okay, that's gonna get old very quick, I think. Honestly, Kaga should just let you autosave. Ah, good old proficiency. Think of it as your mastery of a given weapon tank. You rank with what weapon type, so to speak. And visual weapon requires a certain level of proficiency. If your proficiency with that weapon type is sufficient, then you can equip the weapon. Train hard and your proficiency will grow. Simple enough, right? Yeah, it's... Pretty, like, all of this makes complete sense if you play Fire Emblem. But I understand why it's there. Weapons and magical tomes can be quite heavy. Their weight will affect your speed in battle. I'm just a humble farmer, but basically, speed... <laughs> speed equals agility minus weapon weight divided... Oh, strength divided by two. Okay, that's the formula. This always results in a value of zero or greater, so there's no negative avoid. Your evasion is double your speed, and if your speed exceeds your opponent by at least three, you get a second attack. Ah, farming. <laughs> Okay, that's actually really good. Uh, so, okay, so now I know the formulas of the game. Let's try the cut blast, shall we? That should attack like four times. Oh, we got, oh, four times with Adept. So, Brave Weapons and Adept actually stack in this game. Yeah, okay, you're fucking dead. Arr, got it like fish. So the cut blast is really OP. Extremely OP. Alright, we should be able to arrive at the signpost next turn, I think. I don't know, once you kill the pirate, do the ships still leave? That would be kind of dumb. Uh, alright. I think we can arrive. Oh, we haven't talked yet. Stay close to the princess, my lord. We shall deal with any rabble that present trouble. Wait, Sir Troy! Oh, alright, I was giving him the Troy voice. My brother told me about you. They call you the Winds of Troy, don't they? The songs are many for such a young knight. I have much to learn from you if you would teach me. Of course, my sword was yours before even the duke pledged it. Warrior, teacher, I am whatever you bid me to be. I realize the voice I've given him do not match his personality at all, but I don't care. Um, alright, so we'll arrive next turn. Okay. Let's arrive. Oh, stockpile. I think that's just a supply. The harbor. I made it. I hope Sek is safe. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's an escape chapter. My worker is done. We'll rendezvous at the wharf. Okay, so everyone has to escape. Well, that is very Kaga indeed. Looks like a harbor. Smells like a harbor. Well, I better help get the Karak ready. Okay. I, I hope I hope that guy doesn't get left behind now. For all harbor, safe within the town's wall at last. And we'll have to end the turn and arrive with our last guy. It'd be funny if the boat sailed now. Good, I'm not too late. I'll run on ahead. Cutting it a little close, my lord, don't you think? Climb aboard, we've no time to lose. Oh, and the Thorosian captain said to give you this. A token of gratitude for protecting his ship from the pirates. Go on, take it. It's alright. One coffers can one's coffers can never be too full. Wow. 1200 denarii. Nice. Oh no, is the green unit gonna die now? The Karak will have departed Fall Harbor by now. Why didn't you just come with us, you dumb dumb? I guess he doesn't want to. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked, kiddo. And here they come. I knew the Empire was just testing us before, and now they mean to throw their true might at us. I was wise to evacuate the others when I did. 
Yeah, you're you're gonna die. Said. Know that it was not an empty promise, even if it was the one I could not keep. Guard Athol went in my stead. Work with her, hand in hand, and pluck our kingdom fruit from the rubble. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, that was the first chapter of Vistaria Saga. And I think this is probably a really good time to end it. So, I'm... Hmm. I like this game a lot, actually. It, it feels good to play. It feels like an old-school Fire Emblem game. I have issues with the animations, but the more I play, the less they bother me. I don't understand why the FPS is so shitty. Honestly, like, there's no excuse for the FPS to be this shitty, but... I think if you can get past the weird look and the, and the botchy animations, then... This is a pretty good game. It feels like playing another Tracer game. That, that's really the vibe I'm getting from this. Uh, I think the story is gonna be pretty good. I love the humor so far. The villagers, with, they were hilarious. They cracked me up, so... Honestly, I will probably do a full Let's Play of this game, because I really enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about Vistaria Saga. Are you gonna try it yourself? It's on Steam. Link in the video description. Go buy it. It's really cheap. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see where it goes, honestly. So, if you liked it, like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye-bye.